Sky 103.8. Yeah, Virtual Zone CEO is with us here in studio. He's going to be answering your questions in Company Clinic in just a few <laughs> moments' time, so stay tuned for that. Do keep your questions coming in on 4001. Uh, but time now for us to focus on some of the success stories. Startup Spotlight. Yeah, you are listening to Starting Up with Virtue Zone. Uh, keep your questions coming in uh, on 4001. But in the meantime, Abu Dhabi's Hub 71, described as global tech ecosystem, uh, is drawing in some of the best and the brightest tech startups from around the world. Currently, it's home to more than 100 startups across some 16 tech sectors and is looking to foster more through its new programmes. Uh, our producer, Catherine Cunningham, has more. Hub 71 was launched in 2019 as part of the government's efforts to diversify the economy through its $50 billion Gardan 21 program. It provides founders access to top investors, customers, mentorship and market opportunities. Last year, its startups collectively raised more than 185 million dirhams. And now, as part of its new program, The Outliers, it's enabling startups to collaborate with leading corporations and government agencies to solve their operational challenges. Successful startups can gain access up to 100,000 dirhams. Interesting times uh, in a very competitive market. Nada Mesetif is the head of partnerships at Hub 71. Uh, absolute pleasure to say that he can join us live on the line and also live via Microsoft Teams. Uh, Nada, lovely to uh, hear from you and see you this morning. Thank you, Tom. It's good to be here. Hey, look, um, congratulations on the Outliers programme. A lot of chat about that in the market at the moment. Uh, but as I mentioned in the lead in there, you know, this is increasingly a very, very competitive sector. So for any potential startups listening into the show this morning, how can they get involved in you, the Outliers programme? What, what are you specifically looking for? Sure. So, so as, as the intro uh, mentioned, our, our goal is really to build that tech ecosystem in Abu Dhabi and in the UAE. And we do that by channeling value and helping startups access success factors and access value in the ecosystem and within networks that we provide and we hope and access to as Hub71. Um, and we look at it from different perspectives. So one is access to capital. How do we help startups access capital and funds through our partners and our uh, VCs and our uh, you know, backers like Mubadala and Adio and other players? The other element which this falls under is the access to market. So how do we help startups really access revenue opportunities, access and growing sales um, within the Abu Dhabi and UAE uh, ecosystem. And, and a big part of that is the corporate engagement, right? So you have corporates who have a clear mandates to innovate, and we've seen a big shift to digitalize during the last um, 12 months. So you have these corporates on one side looking to innovate and, and create digitization solutions and, and products, and you have startups who are innovating, who are very agile and quick, and want to access that you know, large, platform of the corporate. So the outlier is simply creating that connection between the corporates and the startups and the growth companies globally to, to look at joint innovation efforts together. So the outliers, what we did is we worked with six of our corporate partners, uh, likes of Etihad, MasterCard, Mashrik, ADCB, the Department of Health in Abu Dhabi, um, and, and each one gave us a challenge that they have facing and they wanted to solve and innovate on. What we're doing as Hub71 is we're opening this as, as a platform and we're inviting companies globally to apply to these challenges, uh, depending on the sectors, of course. So if you're in health tech, you apply to the Department of Health. If you're in travel, there's Etihad challenge, et cetera. Um, and, and so far, the, the, the attraction has been, has been massive. We've received about 70, 80 applications each uh, per challenge. And, and we're, we're accepting more. The deadline for application is uh, July 1st. And, and this will be a way, once, once that's done, to help those corporates work with those startups and those companies on innovating and creating joint solutions together, which gives the, which gives the startups access to a market in Abu Dhabi and, and a fantastic anchor customer, let's call it, and of course gives the corporates access to that innovation. Hi, Nader. George here. Another quick question. I get asked this question many times. What makes 
either Dubai or Abu Dhabi an attractive location for startups uh, for the region? You know, we, we have a few hubs. We used to have a few hubs. I mean, Beirut was one of them, Amman and Jordan was one of them. What's making, you know, I know Saudi is thriving to, to make, to make uh, some of its locations uh, a hub for these, uh, for these startups. What makes Abu Dhabi uh, an attractive location for these uh, founders? Uh, thank you, George. Several factors, I think, come into play here. And, you know, being a hub with more than 100 startups uh, operating here, we, we see the value in, in a few things. One is clearly how can you open up the access to the networks within Abu Dhabi? So you have the funding is one thing, and, and we have the, the Mubadala backing with their fund uh, and MENA VC uh, fund structure. We have the likes of Adio. We have the ADGM structure with their own flexible, progressive framework to operate, set up a company, hire people, and, and fundraise and invest and so on. Um, then you look at the, the wider opportunities within Abu Dhabi. The Abu Dhabi economy is one of the largest economies in the region, and you have some of the biggest players here, the likes of, again, Etihad, Aldar. Uh, the, the, the banking sector is massive. So if you put all these networks together, that's, there's a massive opportunity here for a startup or, or a, you know, a, growth tech, a growth company operating in tech to, to come here and access those opportunities. So you can raise funds through the Hub 71 uh, partner VCs. We have about 17 VCs that are partnered with Hub 71 and are based on Hub 71. So that's a fantastic capital community for you to access as a, as a founder and raise money um, and continue your growth journey. Then you look at the access to market component. How can you come in and engage with these large players who are very busy uh, growing and, and digitizing? So can you, you plug into those efforts with the corporates and the government sector to achieve more opportunities? The talent element is very important as well for a startup. So as you grow and as you proceed in your journey, you need to keep hiring people. And Abu Dhabi has been a fantastic place to attract talent, the livability, the, the, the safety, the, the, you know, the, again, the, 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 the opportunities Abu Dhabi provides in terms of talent and, and the presence of the universities, uh, of, of universities in Abu Dhabi has been a fantastic you know, differentiator for talent, to acquire young talent and of course, um, mature talent. Mm. So you combine all these together, I think Hub 71 has been at the center of all that. And our goal is to enable a startup coming from abroad or from the UAE, of course, to access all these different opportunities and networks to fundraise, to access market, grow their sales, hire people, and operate in a friendly business environment within the ADGM framework. Now, to give, a, give our viewers and listeners a little bit of an example, I mean, you mentioned there uh, some of the, the, those the organizations that you've helped. Give us an example of a startup that you have down at uh, Hub 71 and what's made them and you unique, a perfect partnership. Great. I think we have a bunch of these, but maybe I'll mention a couple here. For example, a latest uh, uh, story came out about a startup called The Concept, which operates in terms of uh, smart trades, and they just signed a deal with Etihad to, to collaborate and bring that innovation and that service into the Etihad ecosystem and Etihad uh, um, space. So that's been a very good story that came up a few weeks ago. Um, on the fundraising side, we've heard a bunch of stories the last couple of months. So, for example, Securency, which is one of our earliest um, startups in terms of the cohorts that started with us early, they raised $30 million in April. Uh, they announced that in April 2021. That was a big fundraise um, that, that we were happy to see them again grow and expand in that access to capital uh, component. Another company that's in Hub 71 is Tarabot Gateway, which is a fintech, uh, which raised $30 million as a seed round, also announced recently. So these are some of the stories to, to show that if you bring the right community um, of funds, of corporates, and then you start curating the right startups around that community, then you start creating those nice collisions, which would create investments, which would create uh, commercial deals, and then and then the, the ecosystem starts taking shape and organically grow within this, you know, growing and and, and exciting. Uh, well, that's an interesting point you make, and I wanted to ask you, uh, impress you about the challenges that a number of the the tech entrepreneurs are currently facing at the moment, because there's one glaring one in front of us is the pandemic at the moment. But I'm wondering whether the pandemic has either aided or abetted a number of that pool of talent to try and fulfill their dreams? Yeah, so so clearly the pandemic has you know, affected um, all of us, you know, in, in terms of 
how how things operate and, and the, going about our daily lives. Mm. And we've seen you know firsthand how the startups and those companies can be quite agile in adapting to that um, and capturing the opportunities on again on the on the corporate government side. So given the the, the urgencies that came up, you find the Department of Health, for example, looking for, to access digital innovation and digital channels to provide healthcare and telemedicine. So you find a lot of the companies in health tech and Hub 71 trying to, to capture that opportunity and work with DOH on accessing a larger pool of, of uh, users and you know, patients. Mm. So that, that trend definitely continued. Uh, you've seen investors even getting a bit even more bullish on how to you know, capture and look at deal flow and, and invest in, in the, uh, the right companies that will you know, hopefully be relevant in you know, the next pandemic or the next crisis or the next uh, requirements that, 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 that come, come to, uh, to place. And you see in the corporates as well, you know, accelerated the digitization. Yeah. A lot of them had to face you know, um, innovation around how to sell or how to do retail or how to do education, depending on their, on their assets. So all these three different players having to ad- adapt and then again converging in a way that helps them to work together. Listen, Nada, it's always good to catch up with. Really appreciate uh, you sharing your thoughts, your expertise, uh, your advice uh, as well. Congratulations again on all the uh, extraordinary achievements of Hub 71. And we can't thank you enough for your time this morning. Uh, thanks, Ramesh D for joining us. Thank you very much. A uh, big thanks to Nara Mosetev there, who is the Head of Partnerships at Hub71, who was joining us live on uh, Microsoft Teams. George Ajaj alongside me at the moment. Again, it, every time we do this show, George, it just amazes me the interest that all these platforms, these companies are generating at the moment. And there are so many of them, you have no idea. I mean, every... It's not, you know, I always, I always say that when we were kids, I mean, nobody would say, I want to be a founder. No. Or I be, you know, it'd be like, and now we are, everybody's working in this ecosystem of startups and founders and 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 uh, finances and all these things and we didn't have that so it's like it's like a new industry that's been created and uh, very exciting stuff listen when you get into it a bit you see that there's very exciting stuff and a lot of a lot of capital creation that's being done a lot of value creation as well from the platforms that are providing uh, the expertise, we turn our attention to one of the startups uh, that uh, have made a name for themselves already. That is coming up in just a few moments.